the stock Epiphone pickups. Here's a close up on the neck pickup. Here's a close up on the bridge pickup. We're going to get to work on dismantling and removing these pickups. Okay, here we are. We have all the strings off to the side and we're getting ready to remove the stock Epiphone humbucker pickups. We're going to start off taking off the screws here which actually allow us to take out the pickups. These screws here in the middle adjust the height of the pickups. Okay, as you can see, we're removing the bridge pickup. Here we have the bridge pickup taken out and the one thing this important to notice here is we don't have a lot of extra wire. Um, this wire does not come out freely, so that's all we have to work with here. So we're going to cut it really close to the old pickup. Then we're going to install the new bridge pickup, and we have a lot of extra wire to work with here. And we'll keep all that, and we'll show you how to connect the wires here. I'm going to take wire cutters and just cut this wire as close to the old pickup as I can. Alright. Here we have the new pickup. And the new pickup actually has three wires. The old pickup only had two. So what we did is we connected the two white wires, which are the hot wires, together. And these are two grounds and a ground here. So we're going to connect these two grounds with this one ground here. I've twisted the two white wires here together and then I'm going to solder them together. After soldering we're going to put electrical tape around it. Now we're working on the pickup for the neck and the pickup for the bridge. The wire from the old pickup was white as well as the internal wire was white. Now we're just dealing with different colors. The wire is red as well as the internal wire is red. Still the internal wire, even though it's red, is hot connecting to the hot white one here, which is indicated by our diagram. So you just follow your diagram to indicate which one is hot. So the two hots are connected. And then we're going to connect our two grounds to the one ground from the guitar. So I've already connected one ground from the pickup to the ground to the guitar. And I'm going to connect the second ground from the pickup to the first ground. And I'm just going to do that by twisting it together. And then we're going to come back and solder it together. And then after soldering, we're going to put electrical tape around the wires. I finished soldering and put the electrical tape around the wires that are connected. And now we're ready to coil the excess wire and place everything back in its spot. Alright, as you can see we have both of these pickups installed and everything's working properly.